if the forecasted trends continue, we will soon be unable to meet the health care demands of Arizonans. It's a dismal message from the chief medical officer at Banner Health. She says several Banner Health hospitals are operating above 100% capacity, and the future doesn't look bright. Banner's predictive modeling tools show no signs of letting up. Although the number of COVID patients is dropping, Bessel says inpatient volumes are at their highest since the start of the pandemic. She says it's a result of many non-COVID patients delaying going to the hospital. Some of them delayed preventative care. Some of them are presenting after having symptoms for a protracted period of time and presenting late in the course of their disease or illness. This, in addition to staffing issues, means there's not enough staff to service their current bed capacities. Dr. Matt Hines says he's seen a similar trend. Frankly, I don't know who's going to be left to care for anyone because we're all going to quit. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't want to be doing this anymore. And this trend isn't only impacting the healthcare workers. Someone having a stroke might not be able to get to an ICU bed because there are COVID patients who refuse to get vaccinated, just taking them up. At Banner Health, some surgeries that require ICU stay are being postponed. Banner is now only prioritizing sick visits for established patients. Others will have to get in line. Patients may experience an increased wait for non-urgent PCP appointments that can safely be delayed, such as routine follow-ups, well visits, and new patient visits. Bessel says Banner Health is not at crisis levels just yet, but she expects the situation to soon get worse. Perla Shaheen, KGAN 9, on your side.